Zippity doo dah, beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chris Brown here again. As you can see here today, I'm filming today's video in Celebration, Florida. Um, here's a just a, a cool little bridge that I'm sitting on. Um, it's a cool little community. I've, I've filmed some of our other videos here as well. You might have seen those. Um, but like I said, it's just this really amazing little community. Uh, it's it's uh, They call this the town that Disney built because Disney used to own this little community. And they wanted to... Uh, not quite make it like Main Street USA, but uh, like that type of era, you know, a, a maybe area type of era, era, you know, just, you know, everybody knows each other, nice, warm, little friendly community. Uh, since then, though, that they've, they've, Disney has sold this to the town of Celebration now. It's called Celebration Florida, and the, the town of Celebration owns it, but it's a really cool community, as you can see here. Um, but what we want to do in today's video is we want to talk about... Uh, this uh, a culture shift. So what what has gone on over the past few years is, uh, you know, we've gone through this culture shift. You know, uh, business is not the same as it was. You know, the the business environment has drastically changed, hasn't it? And so what many experts are now calling this as uh, what they say as the new economy. It's an information age. Uh, we've also changed from an information age society into, a, or excuse me, an industrial age society into an information age society. And so this has caused a lot of problems for a lot of you. Um, chances are you started your business in the industrial age. And so you're having a problem adapting and you're trying to figure out what's going on and you're trying to do the things that you used to do and it's not working as well as it once did and you're wondering why. And it's because that of this culture shift. And so the way that people are buying is different. And so what that means is the way that we have to sell also has to be different. And so what I want to do for you right now is I want to take you to my computer, uh, show you how you can use this information and how this will help you to get, to get further ahead. And uh, But uh, without me going on and rambling hard here, let me go ahead and go ahead and take you to my computer and let me show you how this works. Okay. Uh, business used to be simple. Um, you, most of you realize this, especially those of you who have been in business for many, many years. Um, uh, you know, with the internet technology, it ticks you off. I'm even ticked off. I'm, I'm envious of how easy most of you had it. And so, first of all, what we want to look at is we want to look at advertising from about the 1950s to about 2008. And this is when you had what was called as the TV industrial complex, where you just had this message and you pushed it out to the marketplace. So, first of all, you had your ideal customers. These are the customers who buy your type of products. They got money to spend. They're interested in the type of services that you, that you provide. And so what you would do is you would then advertise your business in places where your marketplace would go to find the type of products and services that you have. So for many of you uh, small, medium-sized businesses, that would have been the yellow pages. And a, a lot of people still use the yellow pages because they don't know how to use this technology of today. So you have your perfect customer, they see your ads, and then they just simply a percentage of them this they just simply buy that's that's the method that that business went through at that time very very simple no complication this is why I say I'm envious of you because you just had to say this is what I do this is how long my been I've been in business and these are my products very 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 cut and dry and simple um, and as many of you realize business is not so simple anymore it's complicated you know you have so many methods so after 2008 now I'm not saying that this method does not work anymore what I am saying is that it is not as effective as it once was even if you're not using the yellow pages or there's even a lot of businesses that are still using this method but they're using it through places like Craigslist and places like that it's still somewhat effective you will still get results out of it you just won't get the type of results that most of you really need now let's look at uh, let's look at 2008 and, and beyond like I said the met that method still works it's just that it's not as effective as it once was so again you have your perfect customer base right and then what you want to do is you want to advertise your 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 business in places that your customers will will go 
And so today, because everybody's been scammed, everybody's been screwed, everybody's been overcharged, so now what you have is you have a thing that is called content marketing. And content marketing is extremely complicated. This is where the Facebooks, the YouTubes, the Twitters, the Instagrams, the blogging, the email newsletters, the mobile marketing, all this stuff comes into play. Content marketing because, again, everybody's been scammed, everybody's been screwed, everybody's been overcharged. They don't trust you. You are so far less trustworthy than you have ever been before. Now, so what we have to do is we have to provide content for those people so they can go check out our businesses and do research because they're because the average customer especially when it comes down to major purchases is going to spend uh, anywhere between 18 to 24 months ahead of time doing research trying to find the perfect business for their solution and trying to find somebody that they can trust and so again one of the ways that we do this is through blogging and Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. Now, when it comes down to th this type of marketing, we use what is, uh, when it comes down to blogging, blo uh, for online platforms, blogging, uh, I forget the actual numbers, but it is what it is one of, if not the most trusted form of advertising on the internet. And, um, you know, there's some reasons for that, which we'll discuss that later. But you have your perfect customer. They come in, see your content, and then after that, they'll probably, you know, let, let's say if they're on Facebook, they'll like your fan page and get, follow your feeds. Or um, if you're doing this through a website, they may subscribe to your email newsletter. Again, requesting content so they can be educated about your type of products and services and even if they don't go with you what they should know about when they go shop with other businesses and whether they should do business with them so in a lot of ways a lot of times we're we're even giving our potential customers feel of what they should look for when they go do business either with us or somebody else and then finally they come ahead and buy our products and services after that 18 to 24 months now there's some things that we can do to speed up that process but this is basically the process it's very complicated I get it I'm ticked off too but what we're gonna do here is we continue out throughout these videos is we're gonna show you what you can do to increase this um, because the average customer uh, you know, you know before people bought a lot faster but now it takes anywhere between uh, anywhere from the fifth to sixteenth contact which is where most sales are done so we'll talk about what you can do to speed this up in some of our other videos so again I hope this information has been helpful I had a blast filming this video for you here today hopefully you get the come out here and enjoy some times with us uh, not only in this little community out here spend some time with us here uh, but also you know hanging out to Disney World and the beaches and the oceans and some of the cool places that we get to go and uh, that way we can spend some personal time together well again hope this information was helpful take care everyone have a great day we'll see you in our next video bye bye now now I hope this information has been helpful if you hey, I want to invite you to order our free DVD now on that DVD, you will discover how to use the money that your competition is spending in advertising and how you can use that to get more business for yourself. Now the first time that I did this, one of my competitors was spending $100,000 a month in advertising. And I used that money to be able to get 141 sales for myself in the very first six hours that I did this. And I'll show you how you can go ahead and do the same thing as well. Now next you'll see how to harness the spending power of your customers who are spending money with other businesses and how you can use that to make 10 or 20 times more profits from your already existing customer base. So you have customers and those customers are buying things from other businesses, right? So we'll show you how to make money when your customers are buying from other local businesses or perhaps even online and that will enable you to make 10 to 20 times more profits from your already existing customer base. 
Then we'll reveal the secrets of what companies like Apple, Disney, McDonald's do to never pay out of pocket for their business expenses ever again and how you can go ahead and do the same thing. Then you'll see how to get companies to pay you in order for you to advertise your business and much, much, much more. So if you're on our website, if you look down below directly underneath this video, you'll find a little link that you can click on to order your free DVD. Otherwise, go visit freedvd.prostarprofits.com. Again, that's freedvd.prostarprofits.com. Again, I hope this information has been helpful. Take care, everyone. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.